हेलो ऑल आई एम शालिनी श्रीवास्तव पीएचडी स्टूडेंट वर्किंग विद प्रोफेसर उदयन गांगी एट आईआईटी बॉम्बे टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट माय रिसर्च ऑन ट्यूनेबल फाइन लर्निंग रेट कंट्रोल्ड बाय पल्स विद मॉड्यूलेशन इन चार्ज ट्रैप फ्लैश फॉर सिनेप्टिक एप्लीकेशन द आउटलाइन ऑफ माय टॉक आई डिवाइडेड दिस टॉक इन थ्री पार्ट्स इन फर्स्ट पार्ट आई विल एक्सप्लेन ब्रेन इंस्पायर्ड लर्निंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सनेप्सिस इन द लिटरेचर इवोल्यूशन ऑफ फ्लैश मेमोरी एज सनेप्स and how the charge trap flash memory work as a synapse in second part we will discuss the tunable learning rate and its benchmarking with state of art in the third part i will discuss about the variability and the scalability of charge trap flash memory as synapse at last i will conclude this talk with highlight of the research brain inspired learning in this i will explain what is synapse compared to the human brain supercomputer which is based on one human architecture is less energy efficient and require more area human brain consists of network of neuron and we have about 10 is to 11 neuron in the human brain these neuron are connected through a synapse there and there are about 10 is to 15 synapses in the human brain the connectivity of neuron is defined by the conductance change in the synapse if the pre neuron is spike before the post neuron it is called ltp conductance change is positive if the post neuron is spike before the pre neuron it is called ltd the conductance change is negative in whole it is called stdp spike time dependent plasticity people have demonstrated different electronic device as synapse srm which is low energy requires more area and only binary level of learning stt ram pcm and rram are emerging technology organic wire which has low energy is not cmos compatible the industry based electronic synapse which has low energy and adequate level of learning is still missing flash is highly manufactured device and the evolution of same as synapse is discussed in the next slide in 1989 professor carver meet demonstrated synaptic behavior with single transistor which is flash based four terminal device work on chi mechanism which dissipates more energy this device till 2008 is used for uh, used as synapse for de, uh, for demonstrating different application after 2008 many emerging technology such as rm pcm ft ram is demonstrated as synapse in 2015 professor stukrov's group from ucsb collaboration with silicon storage technology demonstrated split gate based flash memory as synapse do it also work on chi mechanism hence dissipate more energy in 2017 professor subramaniam group from ucla demonstrated stdp with nor based charge trap flash in 2009 group from um, berkeley proposed sonos based synapse and demonstrated fn tunnel low energy synapse parallelly our group is also working on the same device we have demonstrated different application which is published in 2020 ijcnn in this talk i am uh, i will talk about uh, silicon nitride based charge trap flash memory as synapse where i will talk about the different learning variable achieved by this device and tunable learning rate and its effect on variability and scalability though this technology is highly manufacturable and commercial it operates at high volt which results in extra peripheral circuit this is the di only disadvantage of this technology as synapse now i will talk about how charge trap flash work as a synapse so we are limited with this moscap structure for our research work so with uh, each pulse there is change in vt so when we apply positive gate bias then there is a tunnel of electron and stored 
these uh, store uh, store these electron in the trap layer which apl with application of each pulse there is a shift in vt S for a particular gate bias this vt shift gives a uh, uh, particular VT and uh, similarly if we apply the negative bias the electrons will get removed through the trap layer and VT shift decreases so uh, for different voltage different VT shifts get, we get what is the relation between VT and G that is a conductance change so uh, uh, the ID is a current of transistor and I for a particular VDS and VGS ID is proportional to G that is inversely proportional to VT as the gate bias is positive VT is increasing and G is decreasing as gate bias is decrease uh, lower or negative VT is decreasing G is increasing so Increasing VT is called as LTD and decreasing VT is called LTP. That I explain in the introduction slide. So, what are the requ the requirement for electronic device to work as a synapse? It should have gradual and linear conductance change. Should have lower energy equivalent to fam 10 femtojoules, low variability, CMOS compatible. Learning rate should be less than 2%, learning level should be equal or more than 1000 and ha should have less peripheral circuits. How to get tunable learning rate by flash synapse? Before that, I would like to explain what is learning rate. By definition, the amount at which weights are updated during training is referred as learning rate. Mathematically, it is defined as maximum conductance change normalized, normalized by total conductance change. In flash memory, which is working as a synapse, whose conductance change can be varied to, by two types. First, varying pulse amplitude, which results in extra burden on peripheral circuit. Fixed amplitude, comparatively a more energy efficient though gives non-linear conductance change. The linear conductance change can be achieved by modulating the input pulse width as shown in figure. The larger pulse width give non-linear conductance change while a smaller pulse width will results in linear conductance change. That results on tunable learning rate. Experimentally, it is demonstrated which will which I will explain in next slide. For LTD, positive gate bias is applied and for LTP, negative gate bias is applied. For both, as we decrease the pulse width, the conductance change per pulse is smaller, hence improve the learning rate. Compared to the state of art, tunable learning rate is achieved and remarkable. The learning rate is not variability dependent. The study of variability is done for 10 cycles. Cycle to cycle variability is constant. The synaptic behavior is limited by device to device variability and that is only for uh, more than 8000 number of pulses. The variability of a scale device is also uh, studied and found to be less sensitive compared to the state of art. The flash memory is highly manufactured device and lower sensitivity for variability and scalability, tunable learning rate and hence is a promising synaptic device for neuromorphic application. We have demonstrated FN tunnel based charge trap flash memory as synapse. Tunable learning rate through this synapse is achieved. Cycle to cycle variability does not affect the learning rate while device to device variability affects the learning rate only after 8000 level of learning. Fundamental limits of charge fluctuation in charge trap flash has lower sensitivity even with a scale device. Charge trap flash meets all the requirements mentioned in the literature that is gradual and linear conductance change, low energy 
about two femto juice low variability this technology is cmos compatible learning rate is tunable through this device and we have achieved the learning level of 10 to 10 raised to power 5 but the only disadvantage of this technology is that is it require more peripherals as it work on la uh, more uh, larger voltage uh, operate at la larger voltage thank you i am now i am open for questions